Late today, Charlotte Police Headquarters was evacuated because of a suspicious package. Fresh evidence that the city is seething one week after a police officer shot and killed a black man, Keith Scott. But a young girl's tearful plea may reflect the raw emotion in a way that a room full of angry adults could not. Errol Barnett is there. Is it okay for me to shoot back because I fear for my life? One after another, dozens of people expressed anger and demanded Charlotte's police chief and mayor step down. Mayor Roberts, you need to resign. She Monday night city council meeting was the first since the shooting death of Keith Scott. Days of chaotic protests that claimed one life. I'm scared that I won't grow to be of a black man. The most moving testimony came from the youngest voices in the room, none more powerful than nine-year-old Zayana Oliphant. It's a shame that our fathers and mothers are killed and we can't even see them anymore. That's right. It's a shame that we have to go to that graveyard. Why are people protesting? All we want is just to have our equal rights and we want to be treated the same way as other people. Did the police here make you feel safe? No. You, I'm going to record, though. It's been a full week since the shooting, and despite the release of several pieces of video, including a police dash cam and body camera, questions linger. The officers involved are part of a tactical unit and aren't required to wear body cameras. Major Steve Willis says that's for safety reasons. And to divulge that equipment, those tactics, and that training publicly could seriously put those officers at risk. Oh, quite significant. Willis says hearing the fears of Charlotte's youngest citizens was heartbreaking. I don't like that they feel that way about my profession. Zayana says racial healing requires self-reflection. Like if somebody talk about my skin, all I just say is just look in the mirror at yourself before you talk about my skin. Now the State Bureau of Investigation is continuing its inquiry into the controversial shooting. Scott, the family of Keith Scott, plans to hold his funeral Saturday. Errol Barnett, listening to Charlotte. Errol, thanks.